extensions on a torque wrench do they actually affect the torque that you're applying to the fastener I think I've got a way to prove one way or the other let's go check it out too cold to start a fire I'm burning diesel burning dinosaur bones okay so I've got this brand new torque adapter yes it's a uh, you know Harbor Freight one um, but the point isn't really how accurate it is, it's how repeatable it is. <clears throat> um, if I can show the same result time after time, that's what I'm trying to prove as to whether an extension changes that result. I don't really actually care if this thing is accurate. <clears throat> I don't really care if this thing is accurate, not for this test. Uh, but I would prefer that both of them were accurate so I could use them for other stuff later on. So, here's my setup. Turn this thing on. And I am just going to clamp this in the vise. Okay, so this shows zero. I have this torque wrench set at 70 foot-pounds right now. And I'm going to try it. Just the torque wrench. Okay, this is just a torque wrench, so let's see how close my torque wrench is. Okay, that says 68, and I had it set at 70. <clears throat> I'll give you that. That's probably not exactly right. Okay, first test, a one-inch extension. Amazing, 68. Okay. Two inch extension. Sixty eight point one. Wow. Three inch extension, 67.4. Let's try this one again just to be sure. 67. All right, well, maybe there is something to this. This is like a six inch extension. 67, that was about the same as the 3 inch. Here's about an 8 inch, maybe 10 inch extension. 68, so now we're back to the original. Okay. Well, one of the ones that I got a weird reading one on was uh, the standard uh, chrome one, not the impact one. So. That. Maybe, maybe the material changes. I don't want it down there that far. Sixty-seven point eight. Okay. Let's try this chrome one again, once more, just to see. Sixty-six point one. See, that's I don't know. 67.3 65 I don't know uh, somehow I'm getting some weird stuff off that one okay um, how about a uh, oops sorry one of these universal joint things this is an impact one I'll try a non-impact one as well this was just the first one I grabbed Ooh. 67. Okay. There's a non-impact one. Sixty-eight. 
Are you guys picking up a trend here? I'm going to go full in on this one now. Let's just maximize all the variables here. here and then you guys tell me what it ends up at. Sixty-eight, huh, okay. Well, maybe I did something wrong there. Let's try it again. Sixty-eight. And then just to double check my torque wrench again. Sixty-seven point five, which pretty close to sixty-eight. Okay, let's throw this Craftsman uh, Chrome one in there, since that one seemed to cause issues before. Maybe there's something to that. Once again, you're going to have to tell me what it ends up at. Okay, what was it? 68.6, so uh, let's do that one again, since it's not consistent. 67.5, yeah, so one more time. time. 68.2, so I guess you guys can kind of see what I'm getting at here. There's some real simple math which explains what's going on here. I don't know what the name of it is, but something like the law of conservation of energy and mass, or maybe it's uh, the sum of all forces in a confined environment all equal out to zero. Basically what I'm saying is, I don't care if this thing is 10 feet long. If, unless that force gets redirected somewhere else, like there's a bearing somewhere or it's going around a corner and it gets twisted somewhere else, I don't care if this thing is 10 feet long, if it's straight and you're applying just rotational force, the torque here is always going to be the same as the torque out there. Use your extensions. Just make sure that you use them straight up and down if you're going to use a uh, universal joint or a wobble don't use it at an angle let's actually let's test that out here oops my thing turned off we'll do a control again here I don't know if my torque wrench is going away or what. Okay, I'm going to try it from over here now. Yeah, so see, there's 77. Let's try it from like right here. 65. So you can see where that just kind of throws everything off. Sixty-seven. So, so basically, try not to use universal joints. If you do have to, just know that the further that you're off from in line, the more it's going to throw off your your measurement. There's one other thing that I want to try here. Crow's feet on a torque wrench. Let's look at that a little bit here. Okay, so I've got the breaker bar up against the wood down there. 90 degrees. Yes, this will spin in here, but hopefully it doesn't go too far. 
hopefully you can see. Okay, so you see what I got going on here? Crow's foot. Very short extension, just to give me a little room for things like the camera. Okay, going into a socket on this torque adapter, going in here to basically a solid object. Okay, this is straight up and down now. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so I got 67 that time. And I've got another socket here as a control that I need to check. Okay, going back, this is control 67. 67, okay. Okay, crow's foot out 90 degrees away from seventy. Let's try it about ninety degrees off. Sixty eight ish. Let's try it ninety degrees back toward yourself. 180 degrees, whatever. 66. Sorry, I moved my hand. I'll do it again. 64. Okay, now, <clears throat> here's why this works. Because this distance right here is a fixed distance. So, <clears throat> this thing measures the, basically the, the pounds uh, force. It, it doesn't measure torque itself, it measures force. Way down in somewhere in here. What I've done, when you add a crow's foot on here, is you've changed this distance because now it's no longer pivoting around here. It's pivoting around here. But if you can make this distance from here to here the same, it should end up roughly the same. So let's see if this uh, kind of 45 degree-ish area works out there. 66, so not quite, but you would be probably holding here, so let's see what that does. 65, okay, let's rotate it. Not quite 90 degrees off. I'll hold here again. 65.7. Try it again over here. 68. Okay, so that is pretty darn close to uh, the same measurement. Let's snap the control on again. 67. 67, yeah. So. There you go, crow's feet, extensions, different types of sockets. Hope that helps. Maybe put some of your minds at ease, um, because I know that there's times when you can't avoid it. You've got to use an extension of some kind. Well, now you know. You're okay. So anyways, uh, when you get back to this 350, pretty well got her finished up now, but I just wanted to cover that. and. Prove it not only to myself, but uh, prove it to everybody else. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.